Greetings and welcome to episode 2 of my Napoleon Total War 3 Austro-Hungarian Empire campaign my friends and this is how we left it last time. We had a terrific time my friends last time. The first couple of years my friends were good for us in this campaign but we cannot underestimate the task that is in front of us. We are up against one of the finest, if not the finest military commanders the world has ever seen in Napoleon Bonaparte and I don't think he's going to take too well to what we've just done in last episode my friends. Let's just recap what happened. First of all we had a fight down here in northern Italy. Now we are bordering northern Italy here. We sent this force in here the force of Karl von Ostrich Techen here went in against this French force which is sort of loitering here in northern Italy. Now the reason we did this was to send a message to the French to say to them you are not going to be hitting a sort of our sort of you know southern you know cities and villages ports without recompensing my friends believe me we are going to come on down on you as hard as we possibly can here we are not going to we sent this message out to the french think th so they know that if they're going to come for us they better come for us in strength because we are not going to allow them to sort of cut off these roads here they took this bridge here they would cut off the supply route my friend here to our sort of ports here, putting us really, really under threat here. So that is why we did that, to send a message to the French, to send a message to the Napoleon to say, you shall not have your own way in this campaign. Not a chance. We stand firm, my friends. We really do. So as you can see here, this French force here took a real pasting, a real battering. It really did. But so did we. I hold my hands up, my friends. So did we. We took a real pasting. As you can see here, a lot of these units have fallen very, 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 very low in strength indeed. We were really up against a crack French force. Even though it was a small force, they were very, very good troops indeed. We've managed to push them back though to Milan. This is going to give us some breathing space, and that is one of the other reasons I did this, is to give us the breathing space so the French aren't sort of sending troops down here to reinforce this army, which is going to eventually push on Venice. We cannot allow that to happen. Venice is a crucial port and trade hub for us it really really is we have to hold on to it my friends as best we can here um i do believe yes indeed look at that we've got three grenadier regiments of battalions um on route and also a regiment of heavy cavalry austrian dragoons are also on route but it's going to take a few a few turns for them to be trained up ready to go into battle here but that should definitely give this oh, army a very substantial boost probably going to boost also the artillery we get as well that is going to prove pretty vital to us indeed. Now, also, we took Bavaria. Now what we did was we just hit Bavaria straight off the bat. We didn't wait because, for two reasons, and also we took Bavaria without a shot being fired. That was the absolute beautiful thing about this, my friends. We didn't lose a single man in taking Bavaria, but it's already given us a boost to our economy, which we definitely need. But, as you can see on the horizon, you're moving down into the south here, coming um, eastwards towards us is two very very good very very elite French armies they combine together to try and take Bavaria because Bavaria was effectively a puppet of France it was just there merely to serve France it had no sort of independence whatsoever it was a proxy of France we can't allow that Bavaria is for us it is Austrian it is ours my friends we've taken it back but as you can see here we are going to be facing quite a substantial counter-attack here by the French. But that is why we do have a good sizable army in here to defend. We also have this yeah, army here because, because we've got alliance with Prussia, um, also with uh, Saxony, and also with Russia. We are able to free this army up which was in Prague. This army is going to come down and help defend Munich. Now if we can draw in the French forces my friends into the sort of Bavarian pit, this cauldron, my friends, and really give them a, a sound thrashing here, or at least beat them back so they know they've been in a fight. That's going to give them breathing space. This is about giving us breathing space. The French are extremely, extremely strong. They really are in this. So we have to be on the ball here, my friends. We really do. Now, the British, thankfully, are, you know, doing their job here in the sort of English Channel, and they're keeping the sort of the French busy here but look at the powerhouse that Paris is here look at that that is absolutely at full pelt so they have got a huge production 
sort of beast behind them and a massive economy as well. <coughs> We're at war with Spain as well. We've not really had anything from them. So as you can see, we really are up against it quite substantially. War with S the Swiss. We do have a good alliance behind us, but in front of us is just pure enemies. Apart from um, Denmark and Castle and Oldenburg, these are okay with us. We're at war also with Holland, Bavarian Republic. But again, I believe that's just a proxy of France. So as you gain, Napoleon really does have a lot of nations in his back pocket. So let's have a quick look. We got we got one six five seven coming in. Not bad at all. Our tax income has increased um, because we've managed to sort of get a lot more trade coming in. A lot of it is overland as well, which is always good for us. Which means if any we've got any trade ports cut off, it won't affect us too much, but it will hurt. We did also move some of our ministers around to make best use of their skills. So as you can see, this treasury. Philip Stadion was actually head. We moved him into the treasury. Um, the treas the ex-treasury minister is now the head. Um, justice was brought in, I believe, from the army and then vice versa. Or he's at least brought in from these here. We did have Bonvoyant. <coughs> Plus one to management. Plus one to happiness, lower classes. I wonder if we could bring him into there. <coughs> that's more like it. Look at that. Plus one to rations. Plus one per turn to town wealth in all regions. That's more like it. Scre oh, look at that. 2071 now. We've moved that head into there. Every little bit helps, my friends, and counts. So you can see we're going to move this force now into here to help defend Munich. So we've got the pr two pretty good forces here. And actually, this is almost a full stack army here. There's nothing to be sort of, you know, um, laughing at here at all. This is a good army. One more turn of drill school will be ready. Then we can start putting in. Um, Bavarian cavalry and also these infantry here, these infantry regiments. So let's have a quick look. Accuracy is 20, range 70, ammunition 70. So, a good chunk of ammunition there. Upkeep cost is pretty good. Let's have a look at the cavalry here. Chevet Ligures are trained in heavy and light cavalry type. Brilliant. Look at their morale 30. That's the best you can get. Absolutely fantastic. So, definitely would love to get some of those. Anyway, there's things else we can do now. We have immediately put in Army Corps reorganization because that's what one of the missions was to get that to help us reorganize our army, get into position. I got minus two upkeep for all army units, which would be brilliant for us again. It's a big boost to our economy. We are going to try and give a boost to all these sort of these back re regions here. We've got here all the way back into Hungary, Transylvania. We're going to try and build these up here away from the front lines because the front lines are going to come under some severe pressure. And I believe the French might attack us next, this next coming year. So we've got to be ready here. We've got, look at here, Innsbruck or Innsbruck here, trapped between the two mountain passes here. We can put this mine, it could take three turns, but we can hopefully hold here and here. Anyway, enough of that, my friends. Let's end this turn. Can't do anything else. Yes. No, let's end this turn, my friends. Let's Let's see what happens here. How will the French respond? Ooh, actually, they're moving away. Ooh. Oh, whoa, 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 where were you, my friend? Oh, Britain. Come on now, Britain. Do something here. Aid us. Help us. That's it. Blockade the ports. Oh, beautiful. Russia. Now, Russia, why are you moving away from the Western Front? I just don't understand that. Why are you moving away? It makes no sense whatsoever, but I don't mind. We've got the powerhouse of the Russian economy behind us. Bring it! Oh, look at that! That's more like it. That's more like it. Old Bavarian, old oh, Ottomans. Okay, not bad at all. Okay, that was quite quite. Oh, look at that! All the roads up and built. The money we spend at the start is actually going to pay off here. Let's have a quick look. Two four two two. Beautiful. Now we're starting to get things into gear here. We need to keep him alive, so I'm not going to anything silly there. These are slowly coming up, but you can see the extent of the battle, my friends. It was a monstrous battle, it really was. Recruitment. One more turn here, and then it should be done. I'm not going to invest in any of these forward bases here. Just, oh, we've actually got a pretty good army in here. Now, this army is actually going to be brought forward on the defensive at the moment. But we are going to build these into a strike force. Now, 
so yeah, as well within the protection there of that. We're not going to build any of these here because it's right in the middle of a battle zone. Is it all logging camp? Yeah, I think that's quite cheap for 300. So we'll actually put that into there. Supply warehouse, way too much money to spend there at the moment. Now, we can recruit indeed. Some cavalry, we're also going to have. They're pretty cheap, those. So it's pretty good there. We spent all of our money there available at the moment. That is huge. So that won't be happening just yet. Oh, look at that. A theatre. Plus four. Oh, yes. Actually, we're going to squeeze every single drop we can out of this economy. And that includes buildings that allow our our, inf you know, our infrastructure to give us money. That's what we're going to do. <coughs> Let's quick, have a quick look here. That port. Oh, look at that. That port has opened up quite as a considerable avenue of trade here for us. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Kingdom of Sicily, they're right on our doorstep, so we can actually get some trade agreement with them if you would like to. Brilliant. Fantastic. Look at this, my friends. Uh, Napoli is also part of Italy. That's going to be, yes, indeed. And that's it. We've used up all of our ports and routes we can use. Let's just... Let's have a look. We've got to come in now. Oh, my God. 3857. Look at that. The trade is flowing beautifully here. Now where's Napoli? There it is. So we've got trade with these gentlemen here. Ah, there it is going into there. And coming out of here as well. Actually, I wonder if we can get um, with the Ottomans, we can get um, an alliance. Nope, okay, they're not, they're not, they're not up there with us just yet. France, they really don't like us at all. And what about Spain? Spain are allies with France, of course. So they are quite a potent mixture that is together. So we have to be careful there. We don't have any. We don't have any uh, fleets at all. No, none at all. So we are a land-based empire. And if France, if Spain decides to hit some of these here, we could be in a bit of trouble. But let's just hold our course here. Two more there, two more there. Not looking too bad at all. <coughs> this will eventually come into its own. We've got this. Oh, nice! That's Russian army there is going to come in here. Anywhere else? That could be upgraded as well next time. We've got the mine here. This is been upgraded here. This iron mine. This can take two more turns. Now we've got this army in place now, so we can defend. And we've also, ooh, Baden Line Infantry, that's a pretty potent mixture right there. We do need to get artillery. Where's our nearest artillery po point? Whoa. It could be Vienna. Indeed. 7 pounder, 6 pounder, 12 pounder. We go for 12 pounders. They're going to give us the biggest bang for our buck there as it were. Right, let's end this turn my friends. Let's see what happens here. It's the buck the French. What did the French do? This whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute, that's a lot of forces. See, that? see what I mean? They're reinforcing now. Oh, the British aren't going to like that. Not one iota. There they... Oh, wait a minute. Well, I'll be damned. If they go for Prague, we're in trouble. Come on now, Russia. Don't move away from the Western Front. Come down to help us. Bond in Spain. No, from Spain. Oh, excellent. In Bavaria. Can we do something to this general here, maybe? Let's try and assassinate him. Not 
yet he's just not up to school. Punish collaborators. This is a bottom wooden book, you've now fallen away. Yes, a thousand plus. Oh, they shall be taken. Capture your Stuttgart. Here, we've got to take Stuttgart. Well, that shall be done. Calibrators. Oh, 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 oh. Now we're talking, my friends. Now we're talking. Bavaria. Okay, let's have a look at our treasury. 2835. That's come down a little bit there. Again, we're not going to build anything there. Secret Society. Nope. But they could get right into Prague if they wanted. So what we are going to do is we're going to prepare ourselves to strike in against Prague. To defend Prague even if necessary. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. We've got two ge gentlemen going this way. Where can this one go? No, actually, we got, we've got. Oh, look at that! That's a beautiful sight. So these gentlemen here <coughs> are therefore going to be sent up to here, and they're going to be co constituted into this army here to defend it. But I'll oh, be damned! Look at them. They've taken that supply port there. Ooh, Louis Nicholas de Vaux. Not a bad force at all. Wow, Wuttenberg Grenadiers, they're going to be pretty tough to dig out of there. Recruitment is going at a pace here. We've got 3922, so I want to invest some of this back into our economy here. Remember, half of it has gone into the economy, half into the army. Ooh, that's a lot for that factory, there's a thousand, but look at that, that's 400 there. Something like that probably does need to be invested in quite steeply there. Clearances, yeah, we're getting these, get these here to boost our income on the back end here. This factory here, plus 400. Oh, that factory's only 900. So that might be a much better... Oh, only 1,350 for that there. It's pretty cheap here, actually. So I think we'll have this factory here. The rest are going to be spent on military forces. Plus 300. <coughs> Ooh, mili militia, reserves, reserve, Deutsch, Deutsche Fusiliers, accuracy is brilliant. We're looking for Grenadiers primarily because they are really are, look at their accuracy, 24, but they're expensive as well, my friends, they really are. Okay, what we need to do is have some more... 12 pounders, they're going to be vital to our cause. That's pretty good at the moment there. Thank you very much. Basic roads are set up here. This army is now looking pretty healthy now. We've, we've, in, we've installed these three grenad grenadier regiments in here. Or battalion, should I say. It's this grenadier regiment. We can get seven. We get one more grenadier regiment and we're done then. And they should be replenished maybe in two or three weeks' time. But these are being reinforced here. Again, the French are not letting this go. I think what they're scared of is if we take Milan, we're going to be on the border of Torino here. But we are going to be hitting... Oh, look at that. And they're investing quite heavily in here as well. Wow. Military Academy. We're going to be up against it here. We're going to be up oh. against it. Hello. Can we get in here? <coughs> Actually, can we sabotage? <laughs> That's a beautiful sight, my friends. I'm going to keep these on their toes here. We've got this here. Damn it, look at these forces here. Well, we've got these here moving along. These will be able to defend Prague. We can't allow Prague to fall here. We will have these two regiments. Okay. 
2789. Let's end the tour, my friends. Thank you. I knew it, I absolutely knew it. Come on, Britain, you've got to put the stop to this. Oh, they're moving back. Oh, there it is, there it is. I absolutely knew it. We can now reinforce that garrison there against that French army. They're going to feel the full force. Come on now, Prussia. And Russia. Russia's just an absolute nothing for us whatsoever. Not a jot. Why are you moving away from the battle? You're meant to be at war with Napoleon. Don't be scared of Napoleon. That's more like it, Russia. So the French want Bavaria back, do they? Okay. Okay. The Ottomans do their thing. One thing we won't be doing is, I can assure you, my friends, if we're not going to just allow the French to get away with whatever they want, no chance. We're already starting to see some... The first thing I'm going to try and do is this. Assassinate the general if I can. Excellent. First of all, let's deal with these things first. There's no point in panicking. Panicking gets you absolutely nowhere. But we are going to take the fight to the French. And we're going to feel the full force of that. Still not finished yet. That's taking a long time there. But we are going to move these up to the front. Nope, gentlemen, please. We're going to put a very powerful army down into here. We're going to go and take Italy off the French and the Italians. Um, but we've got this force here. Now, I could bring these into yes, this. Yeah, first things no. first. Oh, no, no, no. Gentlemen. That was a wasted... We're going to build a force here, I think. We're ready to counterattack. 2166. So, <clears throat> we're up against that. So, we can indeed go in with this army here. With this army backing us up. Let's do this. We're going to take the. Oh, we got four turns. No, we're not going to wait. <laughs> Look at it, even that there. does not going to bode well for us. They've got a six pounder. And they've got. Ah, they've got light cav. Light cav. We've got oh, plenty here. Heavy cavalry. Look at that. Another heavy cavalry here. Battalion of grenadiers. Yeah, we're going to go for this. We're going to take the fight to the French. I'm going to try and see them off here, my friends. Let's do this. Let me just quickly save this. Just in case we have any problems. Let's begin the fight. The Battle of Bavaria again, my friends. We've got Ferdinand von Ostrich Este, Johann von Ostrich against Louis Nicholas de Vaux. A crucial fight, my friends. If we can take and hold, if we can hold Bavaria, we've already taken Bavaria. If we hold Bavaria against this aggression here from the French, we send another message. We can then defeat another French force. Because remember, the French are still building up forces in northern Italy and just out of sight of Bavaria there in the Swiss Confederation. Because that could be a problem for us. We, I've got to send out forces or a spy to go and see what the French are doing deeper in the Bavarian forests, as it were. I really do need to find out what's going on there. 
just in case we don't get caught by any surprises here. But we're going to absolutely pound these French forces to pieces. Mark my words, my friends. Mark my words. We're attacking, but that doesn't mean we have to be afraid of attacking. Okay, let's have a look what we've got here. Now, we do have reinforcements coming in, remember. So, I'm going to put my cavalry into one mass. Here, the cavalry. Gentlemen, please, gentlemen. Please, thank you. Right. Artillery. So we can cut the road here, actually, with the artillery. We can put the artillery here. Or actually in the forest. Yes, Deploy. Look at that beautiful sight there, my friends. A beautiful sight. Again, we're going to bring the fire onto the French. Where are these French fiends? Nothing yet here. We've got a quite a a large deployment area here, but we're going to bring... We've got arms here, they're not going to be much good. So the arms are actually going to be deployed back here as a defensive force for... Definitely have our general back here. Yes, sir. Now the arms are actually going to be moved into a defensive formation here. I know they're not the best of troops, but they can still... Yes, present a shield here for the artillery, just in case, you never know. Oh, look at that, look at these grenadiers here, my friend, look at that. What a sight, oh my word, what a sight that is, that is a beautiful sight. Right. We're gonna have the 1st Kaiser France's 2nd Regiment, the Grenadier Battalion Skavoud, and also the 4th Deutschmeister, Infantry Regiment number four. These are going to be all together here, taking the fight on this flank, the left hand flank here. Then the rest, we can actually split these up again as well into. I want to try and get the. So we've got the 20th Graf Kornitz Infantry Regiment number 20, and then we have the Bungarish. Fusiliers, I'm surprised they garrison, there must be garrison forces, judging by that. And we're going to put these on the right, and we've got these gentlemen in the centre here. Here. So again, we're going to try, we're going to try and corner the French into a sort of, and split up their forces as best we can, and move from different positions, that's going to help them, help us a lot, lot better, my friends, right, to begin this battle. Now where are they going to come in from? Way over here. <laughs> We've got to be careful now, my friends. We've got to be careful we don't overstretch here. They're already coming up here, so that's fine. Come on, gentlemen. Give me control here. Give me the command. Actually, strike down into this French line here. And also, many of you have said, be careful, do not rush or run your men. Set up our, our cavalry here on this flank over here. And we're yes, going to walk these gentlemen to here. Yes, so, gentlemen. Strike into the under 
any of these here. Now we're walking these gentlemen slowly here. Are running, sir. Wow, it didn't take long for to break that, did it? Get in behind them, get in behind them. French forces against the forest here. It's going to require trying to hide in the forest here. I'm going to get him so far. to get away. Are they trying to get away? If they are, I'm going to actually crush them. They're trying to withdraw.
means right a little bit. Our men are running, sir! sight to behold it really really was holy smokes we did untold damage to that french army then don't come back do not come back to bavaria we lost 161 men they lost they got four men remaining oh we killed him we did it my friends we did it Sir. what a beautiful sight that is a beautiful sight. This opens the doorway to Stuttgart. I kid you not, my friends. It really does. Now, this yes. army could take Stuttgart. We need to find out what's going on down here, though. No, Something is going on down here. But it opens... Oh, my gosh. Look at all that coming in as well. Wow. Lumber mill. I think we'll take the lumber mill. Thank you very much. Now that we've freed up this area here, we can probably invest now in one of these. Gunsmith, manufacturer. I think we've got a manufacturer. What a fight that was. And now we're reinforcing down here as well. It's still going to take quite a while for these to come to fruition here. But I want to put a powerful strike force together here. 1,200 year for a trading company. Oh, look at that. That's going to open up some serious trade for us. Now, Prague is going to give us what? Light cavalry. We need heavy cavalry. Heavy cavalry is absolutely key here. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's a nice force there. Thank you very much for providing a nice reinforcement there for us. Line infantry, not the best. So we actually want to recruit the best we can here. Accuracy of 50? Oh, the Jaeger, of course. But we need heavy cavalry. That's going to be really key to this. I think we'll have a... Um, can we invest in any infrastructure? Oh, we've got this money here. That's being re repaired. That's being built. But here, ooh, we can't get this, but we can probably get a manufacturer here. Gunsmith recruitment in the... Re no, we actually want to get that there. So we can invest every... Every single piece of gold we can is going to be invested here. Now, can we indeed get anyone else? No, all still closed here. We we'll probably have to upgrade our, our port here to be able to do that, and here as well, which we might do next turn, but they've still got quite a bit coming in here. Papal states are actually at providing comfort to the enemy, as it were, there which I'm not too happy about. I'm surprised the British haven't done more in tackling that French fleet that's sort of loitering about the British Isles here. I'm pretty disappointed in that. I would hope they would. But look, 30, 36 to Nelson's column. Oh, Brunswick Hussars. Brunswick Vanguard, the Black Horde. Oh, my word, look at that. Brunswick line infantry. 36 turns again, Nelson's column, 70 engineers, because they got pretty much everything upgraded here. <clears throat> we haven't really invested in our, which we have, we've got a pretty good 
capital city here, but Ordnance Board would definitely give us a huge boost here. Imagine we can already get 12 pounders. Oh, Pioneers would be pretty good. We do have the best we can get here in terms of what we can. Some Jaeger wouldn't go amiss. Oh, Grenadier oh, Battalions as well. Actually, might be pretty nice as well, but we have actually. That army there was absolutely butchered. This has opened up Stuttgart for us. If I can get one of these armies replenished quickly enough, then we might be able to push into Stuttgart quite quickly. That would really open up the door with the gateway, my friends, to France. Okay. How goes this here? Eight more turns until that comes into fruition. Everything here is still okay. We're friends with everybody we can get. Swiss Confederation. I wonder if we can get peace with these. No, they're, they're too much in the pocket of Napoleon here. They're not going to give that up without a fight. So, but I need to know what's going on down here. Something's not going on down here. Something is in the works down here. Some kind of force is building here for the French. Anyway, we need to find out. Let's end the turn. Of course, front. Look at that. There it is. Look at these French forces here building up here. No, no, I don't think so. Look at that. They're going to try and hit Innsbruck. Or Innsbruck. Come on, Britain. Push that away there. Push that away. That's more like it, Britain. That's more like it. Yes. Britain showing its naval power, my friends, which would be absolutely vital to us. It's vital to us that they do. Russia, which have been absolutely useless. The only thing they've done is send an army to sort of garrison Vienna for us, sort of help us protect Vienna, but even then, that's not going to do a lot of good for us with it just being stuck there. We need these Russian forces to be pushing in against Napoleon. I don't understand why they're retreating back to Moscow. That's not going to do any good to the war at all. I just don't understand the mentality here of the, of the Russians whatsoever. Papal states. Now, remember, none of these smaller nations will actually strike against us without the permission of France, it would seem. Ottomans. This might be. Look at that. Look at Istanbul there. Look at that. That's a massive place. Oh, a gentleman, indeed. Ich bin so gespannt. So you should be making your way to Graz. A long way, a long journey. I'm not too happy with this force here being in the position here to hit Innsbruck. Uh oh. Excellent. Oh, Croatia, oh, excellent. Croatia, oh, look at that, 1,200. That's quite a bit of money there to be throwing into that. There's the moment. We have to be very careful what we're doing here. Now, these are definitely going to be moving up to here. As is this gentleman joining his brothers here, the Grenadiers. Come on now, please, gentlemen. Let's not fight over things. Thank you. Oh, look at this. But still taking a long time to replenish the general here is taking an age to replenish but finally they've been brought back up to full that is the measure of the fight we were involved in cavalry light cavalry heavy cavalry is the way to go heavy cavalry is what we need Sir! we've got that here in these austrian dragoons now what can we do here 1500 here infrastructure we're not putting that much into there not a chance light dragoons no, jaeger skirmishers that's okay. Yeah, these are thick. Actually, these are not too badly done, actually. I need to invest in economic first. Plus three replenishment rate there. 
These gentlemen can actually be moved into here. If we're going to hit Stuttgart, we'll have to hit it quite soon before the French start to put in quite a lot of reinforcements into there. We've got this other Grenadier Regiment. They're going to come out of here. They're going, of course, they're going by Salzburg, which is completely inefficient. Got a supply depot. 2,000. Merchant House. Yeah, okay. Anything else here in the extremities of the Empire? That's a thousand there, so we could invest in something like that there to give us 400. And really boost Mor Moravia here into quite a formidable Here, right at the back, here in Debritzen. I think we'd invest a thousand in that there. The rest can go. What have we got coming in next turn? 2553, five, even better. I, would like to, I need to get Military Academy ready here to open up this. So, that's what we're going to do next. Next turn, I'm going to get a Military Academy in Venice. So, we've got a forward operating base here. Actually, we'll keep. We'll, we'll just we'll reserve some money here. Already got enough troops being created here, and also we probably need a drill school actually in in Prague. Yeah, I think we'll get a drill school here in Prague, and that's going to allow us to reinforce much closer to the front. <sighs> but what are these doing here? Why? These are these hit this here. The Trient. Bows and mines. Can't pull these horses, but by oh, damn, I really want to crack here at. At. Actually, let's have a quick look what they're doing down here. Ah! Good day to you, sir. Look at that. Fusiliers. Swiss Grenadiers, not too bad at all, but they get a military academy, so they started to increase their military prowess, as it were, here. Right so we definitely need to hold our nerve here and keep these forces together as best we can. Then we need to strike against Stuttgart sooner rather than later, my friends, I think. Let's have one more turn. We're trying slowly but surely to try and get our... Ooh, 600, a commercial port. I definitely need to invest in that next as well. Coming up to, it's coming out. It's going to be December soon. We're going to go Christmas time here. But they're really putting a lot of thought. There it is. I blooming well knew it. We don't have the best forces here really to deal with this, as it were. There's a good chance we might actually. No, I should have opportunity. It looks like they're going to try and besiege us here. We could intercept. Ah, okay, they've gone into there. That's fine. They've gone into the mines. Our, our income will hit, be hit a little bit, but you know, I can build, a, put a force together to try and remove that. I do really need to strike into. Oh, look at that British fleet! That is a staggering fleet. Come on, Britain, do something on the continent at least. Prussia, they're not doing anything at all. Russia, no, oh, they're just being completely useless. At least this thing is in the right direction. I still don't understand their mentality here. I really don't. Ooh! C wow! Could it possibly be that they're actually sending troops to help us? Whoa! You surprise me, sir. But I am thankful. That's more like it. Now you're sending it in the right way. Denmark, Oldenburg, Ottomans, who definitely would be an interesting target eventually. Especially Istanbul, if we could get that, that'd be a powerhouse that would. And Spain, I think from Spain, thankfully. Right, we've got a raid here, which is okay. 2000, so that's hit our income there a little bit. Okay. And here. Right, Bavaria. Oh. 
This army here is an absolute ferocious army now. Look at this. Yeah, my lord. They're still not replenished. They're not. They're not ready for battle yet. But they really are going to try and hold Stuttgart here. Okay, that's good. We've got two eight two three. Yeah, Let's have lord. a reconnoiter. There it is, my friends. What do you know? The French are really going to reinforce Stuttgart hugely here, so we're going to have to recruit some men here. We get 63 in here, 183 in there. Oh, look at that. Oh, I like. Th oh, there, look good they are. I'm one of those. We're going to reinforce is that Innsbruck here. Um, and eventually we're going to take care of this little skirmish force here and here. Look at that. They took that there. Those fiends. Right, I'm not going to invest. Like I said, I'm not going to invest in there. And they're still replenishing. That's how the bad the beating was we gave them. Yeah. This force here is going to be one that's going to bring the full Order vengeance the of the Austrian army against them. But they're still replenishing. Unbelievable. That's taking an absolute age. Right, oh, I have to remember, I've got to invest down here. Let's try and get our economy up as best we can here, so we're going to invest in this factory as well. Now, if they're coming to help us here, that's going to be a huge, huge boon to us. That's a nice strike force there, but we have to take troops from here with which to be able to hold that there. That's a very slow replenishment rate. Very slow indeed. We do need to invest in the military academy there. This one's got two more turns of drill school. We do need to invest in the, mi in the military academy here. 2,000 there. Now it's going up. Popularity, so we're not doing too bad. Ooh. The tax levels are hurting there, this, the center here. That's barely holding on there. Let's get another militia unit here just to make sure we hold on to this here. Because they are not happy at all. We can't afford to lose Zagreb here. Just from a, a sort of a. Oh, I'm there as well. Damn. Oh, we didn't get basic roads there for Hungary. Damn. Right, let's end the tour, my friends. Let's see what happens here. Look at that. They are really going to be throwing a lot of defences into this. Look at that there. This is getting scary. The French are starting to really throw everything here in the Stuttgart. Stuttgart's going to be held. No matter what here by looks of things. Oh my gosh, that's a big garrison right there. That's an absolute monster. Come on now, Russia, send troops the right way. Almost. Nope. That'd be too much to ask. Don't be scared, don't be scared. <sighs> oh, Portugal seem to be on the move as well. Oh, Bavarian Republic, which is Holland. Ottomans. Ooh, I like it. Ooh, look at all the recruits.
recruitment going on here? That's a monster army there. Fantastic. Can he indeed sabotage? Ooh, Lewis and Clark reached the Pacific Ocean. But what we need to need to more focus on where the Pacific Ocean is happening is we get a that there. And we bring this under control if we can. Let's get that under control there. So you sir can move into here. Four more turns here. This army here, oh, heavy cav. If they think they're going to walk all over us, they've got another thing coming. Yes. Believe me, believe me, my friends. I will. N we will not allow for this to happen. And also this twelve pounder. They should be moving down. And we're going to spend what have we got there. One six six one. getting hit then. None of our trade is being hit. I think we're just being hit because of the sheer amount of... Yeah, look at that. 13,000 there. 8,000. It's just barely hanging on here. So our army upkeep is really pushing us here. But look at that. The French have thrown absolutely everything into here to hold this. They really don't want to lose this at all. And they're recruiting in here as well. So Stuttgart, look at that. They've even got this in here as well. Jean Baptiste de Vimier. Can we do something in here, maybe? <laughs> yes, I think we can assassinate. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Don't tell me that. Don't tell me that's Bonaparte. It is Bonaparte! Wie kann ich euch dienen? <laughs> Bonaparte, that is Bonaparte himself. Napoleon is coming here. He's, he's looking to defend Stuttgart himself. That is going to be a huge battle. And at last, at last, my friends, we've brought this army up to full strength here. What about this one here? By damn, it's still replenishing. Insane. Absolutely insane. Looks like we might have some f help here from the Russian army here. Mikhail Kutstov might be coming to our aid. Look, oh, they don't like it here. They don't like it at all here. So we're going to have to get some militia units into here for definite. An opera house? Why not? Let's put an opera house in there as well just to keep the we got some wealth and we've also got some happiness there as well from that. Yeah, plus one happiness to all classes. I should be okay here. Oh, oh Sweden indeed. Ah, uh, there. But are they at war with. Yes, they are. If they could come down to it here, they'd, oh my gosh, it'd be fantastic. And could even Saxony be coming to help us? Trade partners with France, Strat. But this is where the battle's this is gonna be where the battle's gonna be, my friends. It's gonna be right here. Even Bonaparte is coming himself to try and stop, to try and do this. I think what we will do is we'll <coughs> I think we'll take this fight, my friends, next episode. We're going to try and clear the mines here and try and get our trade back up here. We need to remove these two forces here for definite from us. Um, 
I know it seems to be, but look at that, look at that, that's dead even almost. I'm not going to take the chance of losing this army, and therefore Innsbruck's going to take this fight myself, rid ourselves of this small force here, and then we can start replenishing, repairing this to, to boost our economy back up, my friends, because we really are going to be against Munich. But Stuttgart here, that's going to be the absolute key battle right here. So these armies need to be two full-stack armies at least to be able to cope with that, especially if Napoleon's coming. But I hope you've, en hope you've enjoyed this episode, my friends. And as always, please keep your comments coming down below, my friends. They've been invaluable to me. I've had fantastic advice. You know, don't don't run my units unless it's absolutely necessary. You know, watch my cavalry tactics. Your advice has been absolutely brilliant. The the you know the reaction to the first sort of um, the first video of this, the first episode of this, has been absolutely unbelievable. It's been fantastic to see. It really has. It's such a great feeling that so many people enjoy it, and that's why I do this, my friends. I do it so that that you guys can enjoy it as much as I do and I hope you do, I hope you enjoy it as much as I do playing it I love Total War in all its incarnations but especially Empire and Napoleon as well, I really do, I'm a big fan of those as well my friends you know, and Medieval and that as well um, Shogun I am really, I'm a huge huge fan of that, I'm really looking forward to the Warhammer because Warhammer played a huge sort of part in my life when I was much younger, I played Warhammer pretty much non-stop for about five or six years, it really was a huge big part of my life when I was younger um, so I'm really looking forward, I hope they do a great job with that CA, I really really hope they've really pulled their finger out with that one and done a great job. But anyway my friends, a bit off track that was, but uh, if you've enjoyed this episode please comment, like, and subscribe, as always keep your comments coming down below, you are invaluable to me my friends, you are my right hand men and women, you really are, you've just absolutely been on my side for all my campaigns and your, your advice, brilliant, 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 it really is. Hope you've had a good week thus far my friends, hope you've got a good week coming up. Um, but until next time, when I can promise you a fight straight away, and the fight for Stuttgart is going to be is going to include Bonaparte as well. So we're going to have to really be on our on our game with this, my friends. We really have to be on the top of our game with this because it's going to be a fight that might decide the entire outcome of this campaign. That's how crucial it would be, because it looks like the French have thrown everything they can at this, and so have I here. So, my friends, until next time. Bye for now.